Murphy, you ruined my life! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times child stars lost it on TV. No! What the hell? I don't want my car now! For this list, we'll be looking at the biggest outbursts by child celebrities as seen on the small screen. To be more specific, anyone under 21 is eligible, and online videos are being considered since they're usually watched on smaller screens as opposed to films and TV. Did you spot any memorable meltdowns or controversial antics from child stars on TV? Join the discussion in the comments. Number 10. Elizabeth Tracy Goes Kicking and Screaming – Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition On the first season of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, contestant Elizabeth Tracy was as known for her anxiety as she was for her dance skills. Unfortunately, her declining performance led to her being eliminated by week four. Despite her reputation, no one was expecting her reaction to the bad news. Elizabeth, I, I thought there were a few dumb mistakes, things that you know better. I didn't see good technique. The 13-year-old exploded into what many consider to be one of the biggest tantrums ever seen on AUDC, sobbing inconsolably and swearing at her reassuring mother. This is not fair! win the war, okay? What I'll remember most about this experience is the joy that it brought my daughter. Listen to me, Elizabeth. You already won by being here. I don't care. This, is your this first... meant the world to me. Tracy has since taken her dancing off of the public stage, but her outburst remains one of the highlight moments in dance show history. Whatever the future holds for the talented Tracy, she's a real contender among reality show meltdowns. Hadley should have been the one that left. That... She was horrible. There's going to be so many more things. So much more this world has to offer you. I don't give a crap! Okay, stop that right now. <laughs> Number 9. Mackenzie Myers Meltdown in Paris – Toddlers and Tiaras Mackenzie Myers was considered one of the breakout stars on Toddlers and Tiaras for her genuine enthusiasm as well as her regular tantrums. Contestant number 19, Mackenzie. The biggest one was before her appearance at a major pageant in Paris, when she freaked out in her hotel room over exhaustion and dissatisfaction with her appearance. The incident became a viral sensation that many say exemplified the show's mini diva antics. Take it off! Miss Christie will take it off. No, I don't! I hate putting this on! The Myers say that the scandal was an eye-opening experience that led to them leaving the pageant system. The now teenage Mackenzie has regained stardom as a social media influencer, quick to mention the show that first made her famous. We are going to play clips of me from the show, and we're going to let me act them out. Of course, she is reluctant to bring up the scene that made her infamous. Number 8. Janelle Evans Doesn't Take Responsibility Lightly Teen Mom 2 Of all the drama that played out on MTV's Teen Mom 2, Janelle Evans was particularly popular for her volatile crusade to overcome substance use disorder and find a place in son Jace's life. So when am I going to see you again? Tomorrow morning? Are you going to spend the night with Kiefer? No, Mom. I'm going to come home and go straight to sleep. God. When? Tonight? Yeah! Good. With Janelle's own mother Barbara having full custody, some ground rules had to be laid out, whether Janelle liked it or not. Though this argument appears to be staged, the very real pressure on two single mothers stuck with audiences. So you have to realize how much stress I'm going through. But you might have Jason, you might have work. I have to find a job, I have to go back to college. It's a fan favorite moment of perspective for all the hard work that Janelle was willing to put into growing up and just how far she had to go professionally and emotionally. Of course, Barbara's concern for her daughter's marijuana use certainly helped to make the scene iconic. Oh. What are you going with it? You need drug rehab? No, not really! I like to smoke about this time of the day! And all this is keeping me to where I can't go do it! Now, I'm gonna go do it! Number 7. Angus T. Jones's Candid Testimonial – Forerunner Chronicles 
In 2012, Angus T. Jones was TV's highest paid young actor for playing Jake on Two and a Half Men. What are you doing here? Yeah, I thought you were in the army. Come on, look at me. Do I look like someone who's in the army? <laughs> he had also just adopted Seventh Day Adventism, becoming more outspoken about his own show's lack of substance. This culminated in a video testimonial for the Christian group Forerunner Chronicles, in which Jones let loose on Two and a Half Men and advised viewers to stop watching. Jake from Two and a Half Men means nothing. He is not existent character. He's. <sighs> Two and a half men. If you watch Two and a Half Men, please stop watching Two and a Half Men. The interview went viral, especially since Charlie Sheen ranted about the sitcom amid his dismissal. CBS walked back Jake on the show until Jones formally exited in 2014 to a career in free fall. Two and a Half Men remained a hit until it ended in 2015, but audiences did stop watching its outspoken young star. Do some research on the effects of television and your brain and I promise you, you'll, you'll, have a decision, you'll have a decision to make when it comes to the television, and especially with what you watch on the television. Uh, it, it's bad news. Number six, Kylie gets jealous of Kendall, keeping up with the Kardashians. In 2010, season four of Keeping Up With The Kardashians chronicled 14-year-old Kendall Jenner's entrance into professional modeling. What is that, Kendall Jenner modeling photos? Modeling what? That's gorgeous. Look at that. You look gorgeous. The family had mixed reactions, to say the least. But younger sister Kylie made a real spectacle with her obvious jealousy about Kendall getting all of the family's support and attention. The meltdowns and convenient resolution to this sisterly conflict may not be the most realistic in reality TV history. Oh my god, you're right. You're like the coolest in the family because you model when you're 14. That is not very nice. What's gotten into her? But they hit the audience as a defiant showcase of the turbulent dynamic between Kendall and Kylie. Young entrepreneurship is tough enough without sibling rivalry. She's just trying to take my shine and that's not even cool. I wanted to model with the day you started wanting to model. That's of course monsters, you did. You always saw everything with us you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I did. Girl. I don't want Just girl. wait. If Why they are I always Iconic moments of Kardashian drama like these wound up breaking out both Jenner sisters' public image, albeit not in the best light. Number five, Maddie Ziegler cracks under pressure. Dance Moms. The Zieglers were a mainstay on the Lifetime reality show Dance Moms. Once upon a time is how the fairy tales go. Maddie was a sensation for her dancing abilities and unique confidence under stress. However, following rehearsals for an award show performance in Australia, Maddie got hung up on her mistakes. Maddie, your corrections. When you're on this piece up here, you really need to look backwards over your shoulder and take the crowd with you to the switch. She only got more frustrated when one of the dance moms tried to praise her as an important member of the troupe. No pressure, right? Overcome with emotion, the 12-year-old stormed out of the room. This was considered a particularly shocking breakdown for fans of the show and a somber moment in its history. Maddie's a perfectionist. She always tries to put on a brave face, but it just got to her. Though Ziegler has gone on to build her own successful dancing and acting career, her breakdown goes to show that stardom can get overwhelming even for the toughest kids. Number four, Kylie Posey steals an interview. Studio 11 LA. By 2011, TLC's Toddlers and Tiaras was both a cultural phenomenon and a scandal. <laughs> Young pageant contestant Kylie Posey appeared on Los Angeles' Fox 11 News to address the controversy that the show exploited children. Though her mother Marcy and host Jeff Michaels discussed the issue very seriously, Kylie stole the show with her bouncy mugging at the camera. I'm like a young adult. <laughs> Um, you know what? She hasn't really, as you can tell, I'm not acting like a young adult tonight. <laughs> Though she didn't quite know how to answer the interview questions, she knew how to make everyone laugh. This memorable live TV interview seemed to suggest how much pressure is really on child models to hold an audience's attention. But with Posey's tragic death 11 years later, moments like these exemplify her signature energy. The loss of the TLC reality star comes weeks after she celebrated her 16th birthday in April. Kylie's mom, Marcy, shared the sad news on Facebook. Number three, Honey Boo Boo dodges questions. Dr. Drew on call. 
Shortly after seven-year-old pageant girl Alana Thompson became an overnight sensation, she and Mama June appeared on Dr. Drew on Call to discuss Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Grass fight. How did Poodle get that name? Not yet used to the interview circuit, Thompson tried to get out of the questions by feigning sleepiness. Talk to you. Is it, is it difficult to be on TV? Is she sleeping? When she suddenly came to, she was eager to read the cue cards aloud and complain about the pressures of celebrity. Her tune suddenly changed when Dr. Drew pulled her into casual conversation and a heated game of rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors. It was far from a professional interview, but it was considered lively television. The camera's inability to stay off of Honey Boo Boo's infamous antics wound up being the perfect promotion for her outrageous show. Number 2. Audrey Reyes Gets Her Car Too Soon – My Super Sweet Sixteen my Super Sweet Sixteen was controversial as one of the most extreme teen-themed reality shows of its era. But many agree that few of its stars were as extreme as Audrey Reyes. What do you want the court here for? Because we're going to re-practice. Oh, Audrey, there's no practice. No practice. Mommy, we have to practice. You know what we got? Mommy, we need to. You know I don't know how to dance with this She was eager to receive a brand new Lexus convertible for her quinceanera, but got it precisely on her 15th birthday. Reyes responded to the extravagant present by berating her mother on camera just because it wasn't debuted at the party. I can't believe she's such an idiot. I, she just ruined the whole party. Everything. She just ruined everything. <laughs> Wow. Reyes quickly expressed regret to the public, but their complaints that My Super Sweet 16 promoted spoiled brats still seemed to be confirmed. This legendary meltdown over a car has since made Reyes a star for the wrong reasons. Never mind that she wasn't even old enough to drive at the time. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Caitlin Upton on Geography 25th Miss Teen USA pageant Caitlin Upton entered the public eye as 2007's Miss South Carolina Teen USA, but she achieved a stardom she was not expecting as the third runner-up for Miss Teen USA. This is the round of competition that ultimately determines their fate, the make it or break it moment. During the questions round, when asked about why a fifth of Americans couldn't find their own country on a map, Upton gave a response that may have required a map of its own. I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have that. Her babbling speech about so-called U.S. Americans went viral before the term was even coined. Luckily, Upton was able to give a more confident response during an interview on the Today Show. The statistics are correct. I believe that there should be more emphasis on geography in our education so people will learn how to read maps better. She has since used her notoriety to navigate the entertainment industry. But if you're trying to find young talent getting lost on camera, Upton might be the North Star. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.